What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be just having a bit of a chat about something that's really bothering me and I know it's bothering a couple of you guys as well because it's every stream that I do people are kind of talking about the player of the weeks and not in a good way right now with eFootball25 or just simply eFootball I'm still getting used to calling it just eFootball right around the corner I definitely think they need to like completely overhaul player of the week players right so at the moment issue number one it, with it is right Obviously, I know there's always going to be like a bit of an RNG or a random kind of, uh, you know, spin or everything is a bit random with the spins. You know, you can't just go in here and pick that you want Xerxes. Now, all I wanted was Xerxes in this, right? And on the stream the other day, I literally spun about 15 over 15 of these packs or these players over four different accounts, right? Four different profiles that I have, you know, for playing like Road to Glory, whatever, right? With either free coins or if I had coins is here. All I wanted was Xerxes. That's all I wanted on this, right? And I just couldn't get him. I mean, I couldn't get him, right? And the biggest problem with it, I think, as well, is that, like, for a game that kind of wants you to, like, play with different types of cards and throws a lot of cards at you, a lot of these cards are there just for the novelty factor. They're never really, like, overpowered or souped up. Now, if you're playing the game for the first month, these can be game-changing for you. But if you want to go in here and you're saying, like, right, I'm an Arsenal fan. I want to support Saka and Arsenal and whoever and the boys. I want to play with Saka early doors. Or you were a Liverpool fan, you want to play with Salah. You can pick who you want. And also, it's just completely left up to random, right? So if I have three spins here, right, and I'm hoping to get Xerxes, right, and that's all I want. Like, if I don't get him, it's kind of a bust. So even though we get Kovacic here, who's a fantastic option, and he's a booster... It's still not kind of like satisfying that itch that I have that I just want to play with a really souped up player. And I'm only going to be playing with him for a week. Do you know what I mean? It's not like I'm going to be making Xerxes the, the, the focal point for my entire squad. Especially when I've got Dennis Law, I've got Romario, I've got Shachenko, I've got Ronaldinho, Beckham. I'm just looking for one individual player. And instead, we're getting players that I don't really want. Now obviously, yes, Saka, Kovacic, Lewandowski, fantastic players in their own right. But I mean, I'll show you in a second the amount of player of the weeks that I have just as we round this off. Once you have the third spin done, that's it. I mean, you can't open a third one. And we do end up getting nobody here. Like, we don't get Xerxes who we actually want. So I, I make that about 18 spins in total across five different profiles where I haven't got who I want. And it disappears. You can't do it. Now, the only way to get an extra spin, and for if you're a newcomer, you can actually go into the event here and get the new spin, get one extra spin in the event. This is every week that you can get a free spin here against the AI, and it is always in the teamed or the tour event, okay? And then you can play this, and it takes you about 40 minutes to play against the AI, and you get a free spin. But again, you literally are leaving it up to choice and up to chance. Or sorry, there's no up to chance and there's no choice. So if I play this and I waste 40 minutes and then I end up getting a player that I don't want, I've just wasted 40 minutes and it's just got me more annoyed right? And that's not even the biggest issue with the player of the weeks. And then also, right, if you do get one of the good boosters, right, we've got a lot of really top class boosters, like whether it's the new Saka, who goes to like, what, 101 overall as a left midfielder. Also Declan Rice, uh, that we've got the, the Bruyne, who was one of the first boosters there with the agility. He gets a plus three with the live update. These are kind of good ideas, right? Or the plus two with his B form. These are good ideas, but a lot of the time, after like a couple of days, and after again, the novelty has worn off of these player of the weeks, uh, unless you're, you know, going to be using these cards full, full time, you're just always like, if you get into a situation like me, where it's like, right, I'm going to play De Bruyne. Am I going to play him ahead of Ronaldinho? Am I going to play him against Neymar? Am I going to play him against uh, over Hullet, you know, or Perez instead of Saka? Like it's, there's nowhere really to go with the cards once you get them. And what I mean by that is that like you can't train up these cards. You can't adjust these cards. You can't do anything with these cards apart from play them with the build that you get for, for their base card. You can't change anything with their card. So you can't test out a 90 rated uh, finish in Kevin De Bruyne, right? Now, one way around this, I think, would be to be able to give new cards skills. So, for example, if you've got the new Saka here, to be able to give him new skills like you are on any other card. So, for example, if I want to go in and I want to try out David Beckham with a brand new skill, um, you know, I can test out that and I can give him outside curler. I can try a new skill. I can unlock a skill for him. And whatever skill I get, I can decide whether to keep that or I can roll the dice in it and overwrite it. 
But with Saka and with any of the boys here, at the moment, presently, you can't do that, right? So I would like to see the skills come. And also on top of that as well, a lot of the cards are unusable because of the positions. Now, this is obviously, like, if you take a look at the likes of Salah or any of those that are in positions that they're just not really you know, able to play effectively, I would like to see the position changes come in for these cards as well, so that you can, listen, I know what they're trying to do with player of the week, they're trying to put a highlight on that specific player at that specific moment in that specific match, and I get all that, but I'm saying is that like, there is no reason really to play with them, once you have them, they just like, they sit there for a week, and then you're just going to replace them with either a better player of the week that comes out, or a player that you can just go back, tried and tested, you know, if you're looking for wins, right? Now, the last thing I think is probably the biggest thing and it's probably the most kind of like out there idea, right? I think this would be a really good idea, right? Is that these they have the objectives in the game as it is. They have challenges in the game. What about something like this that's tied directly to the player of the week cards and only for the player of the week cards to start off so that people are actually getting a chance to play with these cards and have a reason to play with these cards. So for example, with the Kevin De Bruyne card, player of the week challenge open from, you know, Thursday to Thursday, you know, seven days active challenge, right? And you can still play and you can complete the match pass and you can do all that. 10 assists and five goals with De Bruyne over seven days. So you could do that. Now, obviously, this would either have to be online uh, or offline, maybe against top player or higher difficulty. I don't know. You could kind of find out the, the like, itty gritty or the nitty gritty um, details of it. But I definitely think something like this would not only make you veer away from using the same, you know, meta 15 selection the whole time, but if you were looking for something a little bit different to do, it's such a simple thing to put in that it's like, right, you, you get Kevin De Bruyne, and obviously this would be dynamic. It wouldn't just be for Kevin De Bruyne. It would be whatever player that you get. There will be 11 objectives based on the 11 players, and obviously it would just go with that. And this could be also even something such as this. Make 10 appearances with player of the week. Saka, win, lose, or draw, and then you're able to pick a new skill of your choice that ties in with the skills here or the positions here that you could actually actively pick a skill that he's able to learn. So yeah, I mean, it's just, listen lads, it's just kind of food for thought. Let me know what you guys think. I know you'll have good ideas as well. So let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I do feel like that, like a lot of these cards, like even all these player of the weeks, look at the amount of player of the week cards I have. I literally just don't play them anymore. Like that's, that's kind of the problem. Like, because I have multiple versions, like you look here, Rodrigo, Rodrigo, Martinez, Silva, Rice, you know, I just don't play these cards, you, there isn't enough time to play all these cards, even with the free spins that you get, so I definitely think that they need to switch it up, I definitely think they need to change it up, even just give us the opportunity to be able to, tr to change certain things with the cards, or give us something dynamic to work towards as an objective, to kind of make us, or even give us the option to use these cards, and maybe these cards could surprise you, you might think, oh, I'm never going to play De Bruyne, then you start using him to complete an objective, and he's an absolute beast for you, so he actually makes it into your final squad, and that way you could unearth a couple of gems as well, the, the lower rated guys, but I don't know, lads, it's just food for thought, let me know what you guys think, it's something a bit different with the video, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and let me know your ideas in the comments below, talk to you in a bit.